What's going on guys? Welcome back. I am going to be dissecting this dissecting the Saab tonight. If you look at the picture right here, you'll see that the Saab started leaking hydraulic fluid yesterday on the driver's side in front of the rear tire right here. Um, so I'm going to be pulling the rear panel off to see if it's a hydraulic line that is broken, which most likely is based on the how fast it was leaking, or if it was one of the uh, hydraulic lifters for the top. So um, hang tight and I'll show you some pictures and video as we go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the seat cushion and then be removing that panel right there. Obviously you can't put the top down cause then it would be a pain in the ass to put back up. So in the meantime, I'm gonna lift this out and uh, you can see I've done the fuel pump on this thing and um, pull out the screws and pull that thing out and get, get behind there. Okay, little update, bit of craziness happened here. I got the panel loose, but then had to manually put the top down. So, so now I got the top down, I can definitely remove this panel, which should be able to happen. No problems. Okay, I got the panel off. So now it's time to inspect everything here. Okay, so I actually had this entire cover taken off for no reason to find out that this little guy right here, this little plastic cover, pulls out like that. And right there is the pumps. And right here are is two hydraulic lines. And this is this hydraulic line right here in the spring is what is broken. I found that out by wiggling it. And of course, as I wiggled it, fluid started spewing out. So now I'm putting everything back away so we can drive the car tomorrow with the top up and uh, order the right parts. Oh, everything's back together. Top is down. Air conditioning's cranking. Only thing left is to put the wifey shit back in the trunk. And that's it for the night. Now we're gonna go order the parts. Thank you. 